Yuji can attack Sukuna's soul and save Megami. Let's go! Using Megami's memories, Sukuna immediately sees right through the next phase of their plan. None other than Yuji Itadori. Sukuna realized that the punch in chapter 244 had indeed attacked his soul as we predicted. And it has the power to separate him from Megami's body. All this affirms our theory that Yuji is a living curse object that can affect souls. He understands them more than anyone due to his journey as a soul and Yuki passing on all her research to him in chapter 220. Gojo confirmed Yuji has no innate technique, which means Yuji's soul swap is an ability. Kenjaku taught Sukuna to store his soul into cursed objects. As both of these characters learned how to swap their bodies with a secret method as mentioned in chapter 228, Sukuna having so much cursed energy needed 20 fingers. And remember, one of them is still missing, right? Well, I've cooked up a theory that Yuji could be the final finger. So hit the notification bell for the channel and smash the like button as I'll be posting that video next. Essentially, Yuji being a walking, talking, cursed object can swap souls just as he did with Kusakabe. Let's not forget, sorcery involves understanding that the mind, body and soul are all interconnected as one. Luckily for Yuji, he understood this idea instantly by chapter 36. Seven. And on top of that, because he was a vessel, he could already see the contours of a soul. He could hit them directly unlike everyone else. This is extremely important as Mahito revealed that souls cannot be protected unless the person truly understands it or they subconsciously use curse energy. Later on by chapter 128, Mahito confirmed Yuji's soul is strong just like Sukuna claimed. He states, Itadori's soul is about 10%. Todo's is at full health and I'm at 40%. This means 10% of Yuji's soul is equivalent to 100% of other characters. That's not all. Mahito revealed another secret. Black Flash holds the ultimate power to go up against Sukuna as it helps you understand the true essence of the soul. In chapter 127, Mahito claims he wants to perform Black Flash again. This is so he can understand himself and when he eventually does by chapter 130, he evolves claiming it was thanks to it. However, since Yuji is blessed by the spark of black, despite there not being a single sorcerer who can use it at will, he is so amazing at black flash that he makes you think he is. From the very beginning, the story has been set up for Yuji to break the black flash record against the king. This would eventually put Sukuna back in a cage, as Yuji's soul is just as strong as he can control the body, leading to, you know, their death. Essentially, chapter 249 reveals the gang's plan is a ticking time bomb as it's all hinged on the assumption that everything will be over before Sukuna gets his domain back. The free verse 1 will be a payback for Gojo's fight. Now you may be thinking, ABD, ABD, there is still no way they could win fam. Sukuna manhandled the Abe clan, destroyed the Sun and Moon squad along with the 5 void generals. Heck, he even wiped out Yuta and Gojo's distant cousin the Sugawara clan. However, Yuta, Maki, Hakairi, and Yuji are beyond those sorcerers. As Gojo stated, the ranking system being outdated being true. He even claimed he was nurturing his students to become as strong as him one day. All of them are special grades by now. As looking back holistically, Sukuna pointed out that Jogo at only 9 fingers of his strength was strong, claiming he's not bad compared to those he fought 1000 years ago. So with where the power scaling is now, in chapter 245, Hikairi is being admired for having RCT stronger than Sukuna and Gojo, and Yuta can heal others with it, where we start to see a big gap. Therefore, by now, we can argue Gojo's students would defeat Jogo or even contest his strength. If all of them bind together, the impossible is possible, which means the slim chance of winning against and Sukuna exists. Going back to the theme that achieving one's ideals requires a gamble and the consequences that come with it. Now to understand Yuta's complete story and all his powers, watch this video on your screen right now as I break down the entire story. 